All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a new project that we just completed. This is Project 263 Blanton Road. This is in Atlanta. This is another high-end, modern, custom spec home, if you will, that we built. So I wanted to give you guys a video and a tour showing off this amazing home. A couple things that you'll notice right from the outside that are very unique about this home, of course, is that giant glass wall. It's a completely commercial curtain wall, I believe they call it. Um, but we did all with flush butt joints. So you get kind of that flush effect of the glass just going across without the vertical mullions between it. And then we obviously have our commercial kind of entry door that's integrated into that system. It's very cool. It was very expensive. People ask me about it all the time. That must have cost a few dollars. It did. These kind of features are pretty cool to put in houses, but darn, they cost a few dollars. So you gotta put that into your budget if you're thinking about adding some features like this. But obviously the rest of the house turned out amazing. We have this cool kind of architectural detail, almost like an apron kind of vibe that goes around it with the different color stucco. The whole house is stucco. So the different colors and textures you're seeing are just different types of stucco and different methods of applying them, which is pretty cool. A couple neat features that you're gonna notice now, and obviously we'll give you a different shot of it at night because at night it looks amazing. But you can see two architectural LEDs that go from top to bottom on the right side. And then there's two more that are above the garage over here on this side of the house. These garage doors that we used are all flush. And we did a kind of a glass insert to let some light come in, but they're black tinted so you can't really see through them. Always want that natural light where you can get it. So the outside of this house turned out amazing. We are right here in Chastain Park in the city. Literally the park is right there. It's like one minute walk and you're at the park. So this area is super, super hot. We went into a crazy bidding war when we were buying this property. Of course, our terms were the best. That's how we secured it. And we weren't the highest bidder either. So remember that terms, terms, terms when you're trying to buy a property. Let's go inside, check it out. All right, guys, let's check this out. So the first thing you'll notice is this really cool commercial door. This is all integrated into the curtain wall system. So it's just got that super kind of commercial vibe, very high end, this big bar pole I love on it. A lock is actually integrated in. Okay, so the grand entrance, the first thing that you notice when you walk in, of course, this is kind of our wow feature when you walk into the house because this is all two story ceiling over here. You've got these big, beautiful columns that are covered in a hand applied plaster finish. This is all two story with the catwalk coming uh, from side to side of the house. This amazing floating staircase that's right here in the middle and these custom handrails uh, with the glass and these custom made stainless steel rails that we build on site by hand. This is just the piece of jewelry that you see when you walk into the house. Now the fun part is, is the front wall is glass, the back wall is glass too. So you've got this giant multi-slide door that opens all the way up from the center. And then you've got a wall of windows above it. So literally the light comes right through the house. You've got a pretty privatized backyard. It's winter, so all the leaves are down in the summer. The leaves come back, it's even more private. But you've got the pool right here. The dining room right is your feature when you walk in. And then you've got kind of like a U-shaped house that everything flanks the pool. The pool is straight walk out. You've got a covered area back there. So this was kind of fun architecturally to put together because it kind of creates a central space of this landing and the pool. Now, one of the little features that we added here in the dining room area is we did this cool wine rack over here. So this feature, I can't remember the number, but it stores like 288 bottles or something like that of wine, double stacked all the way up and down on both sides. And you've got these really cool glass doors on both sides. They're still finishing it right now, but um, this, Obviously, it will be lockable to keep the kids out if you want to or keep those friends out of there from stealing all your good juicy wine. But let's keep going through the other side of the house. You'll notice everywhere that we've got these Lutron plates. The entire house is built with the Lutron system, which is really cool because any one of those buttons on any one of those panels anywhere in the house, I can literally label, laser etch, and program to do anything that I want it to do with the lighting throughout the house. So it can turn on, it can turn off, it can dim, it can change color temperature of the lights from daylight to warm light. You can turn on scenes, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with those lights. It's a really high-end system, but it really adds that touch of class that you need in a high-end home. This is a cool little powder room that we built in, nice and tidy and small. We 
completely made this countertop out of stone. Our guys at New World Stone crafted this by hand. This is all handmade out of, um, I think it's quartzite, the sink and everything. And then we've got these really awesome Kohler Veil toilets. When you approach them, they start working. They've got all kinds of buttons and stuff. They do all kinds of fun stuff. You know what I'm talking about, but it's fun. Let's check out the master on main. Now this is a unique design because we wanted a bathroom that you could come off of the pool and not have to go through the house. So if you come inside this bathroom, you'll actually notice that there's a door that goes straight out to the pool deck. So if you're soaking wet and you need to go potty, you can come straight in through this room, stay on the tile and go straight into the bathroom that way. And then you've got this nice big bedroom here on main. We did this cool plaster finish on the walls. And obviously if I close the door to the closet, you can kind of get the vibe that you've got the big dark wall as an accent against your bed. It's a really fun detail. And this is all hand applied Venetian plaster really nicely done. We did these also, um, these cool closets here. We wanted to kind of elevate the closet situation for both of the masters. This is the junior master, the primary is upstairs, but these are all push touch and inside you've got LEDs everywhere that light the whole closets up. So that was a really nice detail and feature. Uh, we love the way these turned out. So one cool little thing that I think is fun, walking out of the master on main, going out onto the pool deck here. Yep. So this is kind of like a private terrace right off of the master. It's their own little chill spot if they want to come out here and drink their coffee. But if you want to traverse over to the other side, we did these floating steps right inside of the pool. So you just walk over here onto the floating steps and then you're onto the main patio. Obviously you've got your sun shelf right there that you can place your lawn chairs and there's bubblers and things here to kind of add some wow effect. You can walk into the pool from here and then you've got the spa all right up against the house. There's an entry door there, an entry door there, there, and there. So lots of different ways to get in and out of the house. And this is all completely covered. So you can come out here and chill even in the bad weather and enjoy the view and the sound of the water features inside the pool. So obviously out here on the back deck, um, you can see the yard and we wanted to create the kind of most fun and usable and beautiful yard that we could. So on the lower level here, you've got a big flat area where the kids and the dogs can go run around, but we kind of manicured this out that just kind of let it fade away into the woods. And then we put in this black metal fence just on the back line because that black metal fence just kind of disappears into the scenery or the landscape versus a wood fence. And it makes you feel like the yard just keeps on going because it does. Our property actually goes way up that hill. So I really love the way this backyard turned out. A little bit of a challenge to get it there, but it turned out really cool. Let's go back inside. All right, now for the jewelry, guys. So check this out. This is kind of fun. We told the architect, Jeffrey, that we wanted to do a prep kitchen, which means a kitchen behind the kitchen. In this house, because of the location, size, and price point, we wanted to do a full prep kitchen, almost a more in intense kitchen behind the main kitchen. So this entire medium that you're seeing right here covered in this really cool pulp paper is actually the prep area. So I'm gonna take you out to the main, but you got a really cute den up here to kind of get away from everybody. But when you walk over here, you see the main kitchen. So we are in the main kitchen now. It turned out stunning. The designers, Christy and Katie, came up with this really cool concept with this door style. Our cabinet maker makes all of these custom made for us here locally in the state. So we came up with the stain, the design, the shape, the size. We have all of the soft touch and soft close touchless system all using the Blum hardware, the high-end Wolf appliances that just flush in, looks super modern. And we see the same stone again here and now, completely covering the fireplace wall in the living room. And again, up here on the hood of the kitchen. This is the same slab material that we used up in the master bath. So it kind of ties everything back in together. And so we've got the quartzite on the tops, and then we've got the porcelain slabs up on the backsplash and the hood and the wall. So you've got a built-in fridge here. You've got all kinds of built-in appliances here, but the fun part is the prep kitchen. Let's check it out. So walking around here to the back, it's kind of hidden. You've got a generous walkway right here. Again, two big windows right here, bringing in that natural light, frosted them up for privacy. And then look at this thing. I mean, 
this is a chef's delight right here. If you have a caterer, a chef, or you just like cooking at home a lot, you can come back here in this hidden prep kitchen, but it's not too hidden, and just make a mess back here. And you don't have to have all your guests hearing it, smelling it, seeing it. It's all hidden back here. Again, you've got an even larger built-in refrigerator here. You've got your wine storage refrigerator here, a full Wolf six burner range, of course, with the oven, another hood to get the stink out, another dishwasher. There's another one in the main. We put the microwave back here to kind of hide it and make that more pretty and this more utilitarian. And then you've got your hidden trash, full sink, everything that you possibly need in a kitchen is again repeated back here, but hidden. So you don't have to have the mess in your main kitchen. Let's go back out in the living room. So finally, this is obviously where you'd hang out. You've got your built-in gas fireplace and you've got views and views and views. So same theme on this back wall like you had in the bedroom upstairs is the long wall of glass, the same glass on the side, giving you that amazing view out into the yard, lots of light. You've got two large wall panels here that you can see straight out into the pool. And believe it or not, these both open up. So if you wanted to have a big party, you could literally jump into the pool from here. You've got a staircase to get back downstairs if you need access that way. But this is a very cozy kind of fun feeling room because you just have visibility everywhere. Again, the U-shaped house makes everything super fun. And we just love how this turned out. One of the fun features of, again, this grand foyer area is you're right here against the curtain wall. So we built the catwalk and the landing knowing that we have certain tolerances that we have to deal with code-wise, gaps between things like staircases because you can't go any larger than four inch gap. So we created this landing right here to go at least four inches away from the actual glass. So we didn't have to do any type of handrail or weird attachments or anything. You do have a small gap there so the window can continue on down. But we had to do kind of a bit of a Tetris puzzle to assemble all this and get it looking good before we put the glass in. So the whole side of that, we had to trim sheetrock and paint, which is a little out of sequence so we could get it looking good. Cause once you do that, you can't really get to it anymore from the purposes of that cleaning is no problem, but we put the glass back on there after the fact, and now it looks super clean. It's the little details that make the difference. Nice big laundry right here on the second floor, right next to the master and all the other bedrooms are here. Before we go to the master, let's go this way. Right here, we have two spare bed and baths. I won't show you those, but this one up here is pretty cool. And you'll notice we have stairs right here. Now, we wanted to achieve a taller ceiling in the living room kitchen space down below on the main level. And to do that, our architect, Jeffrey Baker, he came up with this cool idea, obviously the whole house, but he added this cool element where just this section of the house, he raised up by this many steps so that you have that higher ceiling down below us but you're not sacrificing this entire space. So this is still a usable bedroom space. So it's got this kind of cool entrance here with this, again, amazing stainless steel handrail that we had made. And then you get a sweet view straight out this window into the pool. And then once you get inside of this bedroom, it's kind of a fun and funky design because it's a large bedroom. Technically speaking, this could be a third master, but on the side here, you've got three windows and then this entire wall of glass here and there. Now you'll see that we did a frosted treatment just on these windows, because if you come over here, you'll see that we're in the bathroom. There's no door. We wanted this to be very kind of lofty, open kind of feeling. So in this space, you don't have a door. So over here, obviously you don't want anybody seeing you while you're in the shower. We go, went ahead and put these frosts on here. Somebody could obviously add window treatments and shades or whatever curtains, but we kind of put this up now so you can get kind of a feel for what that effect might look like. Because if you come over here next to me and look back that way, now you can see that from that vantage point of where you are, shower, toilet, vanity, whatever, you can be completely nude and you're completely privatized. We leave the tops open so you can still see that sky. You can still see the sun. You can still feel it on your face when you're standing here and get the sun's warmth, um, but you're completely privatized, but all the light comes in. I think this turned out amazing. Okay, so now we're back to the master retreat. This is where you enter the suite. And as soon as you walk in, you're met with two giant closets. 
This is probably the his closet. Let's see what happens. Whoever buys this house, well, you walk in and it's just completely all super clean. Everything is push and LED lit on the inside. So you've got all the lighting. You've got storage shelves here for putting shoes, bags, foldables, whatever you want. And then you kind of walk back over here and you're in the uh, more of an effect closet, I guess, if you will, because the shelves are right here in the center with all the lighting looking you right in the face. So I could see ladies placing their bags or the shoe collection here. And then you've got all your storage flanking it, obviously. Pullouts inside, lights. And this closet has the cool transom lights inside of it to bring that natural light inside. This is the primary master. Again, I love this space because the elevation of where we are, just like the other bedroom, you have an absolutely fantastic view of the yard, wall of glass, you've got windows over here, so you can see straight back into the other part of the house, the pool, if the kids are swimming, you can see everything that's going on from right here without leaving your bedroom. You can see what's going on in the living room and the kitchen. You've got really good circular flow in this house. Now the master is kind of interesting and unfortunately it's not done yet. There is one very important component that is not finished yet. So I'm not going to show you that part of the master yet, but I'll give you a little teaser. You've got two entrances to the master bathroom on either side. Let's go inside and take a look. So there's one component of this bathroom that I can't show you yet because it's not done. That's the shower and the toilet room, which are going to be insane. But for right now, the little hint that I can give you is pay attention to the shape of this vanity here. It's curved like this. That'll give you a little taste as to what's to come for that. It's a special order kind of situation. It's custom made, what we're talking about that's missing and it's gonna take a little longer to get. So the whole rest of the house is done except for that one piece, we're just waiting on it. But you've got his and hers vanities that are identical on both sides of the bathroom. And again, you've got all of this amazing slab work that cover all of the walls inside of this entire bathroom, including that wall. So you've got this very kind of high end, very finished look. You've got the freestanding tub right here. Again, same thing with the windows. We wanted the light, but we frosted them to give you that privacy inside of the bathroom. So if you didn't want to put window treatments on here, you don't have to. You could finish the frosting all the way up, but again, I just love that clear part letting the natural light come through. So let's go check out the basement. Down here in the basement, same kind of vibe. You've got this landing area showcasing the amazing staircase that we have all built the same way as the upstairs staircase. But this could be any kind of space. You have the wet bar right here with some cool storage. This could be a playroom, rec room, pool room, den, could be literally anything, whatever you want it to be. And then you walk over here to the foyer, to the rec area, the main space. Check out this really cool powder room that we did. It's nice and spacious. You're seeing that curved vanity, just like we had in the master upstairs, hall wallpapered in here. I love the way these sconces turned out. It's a very moody kind of sexy feeling room. Here is the rec room again with our staging furniture to give you a scale of the size of the space. Whoever lives here can stage this room up however they want. You've got the light coming in from the back of the house. And what's kind of fun is if you come back here, you can see the cantilever part of the house. It actually sticks out. There's a big steel structure just right here on this corner that's like a big T cantilever, cantilevered beam. So we could get all the weight of that house loaded back to this part of the house, but still stick that out over there, giving you this kind of covered spot right here. I think architecturally this turned out really cool. And this room is really big, so we can use it for rec space, pool room, chill spot, literally anything you want down here, you've got the space for it. And on the other side of the house, we have another bedroom. Okay, so over here, this is kind of an interesting area, I think, because you've got almost like an apartment down here if you want. You could, if you wanted to seal this part of the house off, pop a wall with a door right here, and then you'd enter the suite because you've got this really great den right here that you could put furniture in here as like a den living room, pop a TV on the wall, whatever you wanna do. You've got all the natural light and access to the backyard through here, which you could obviously walk back up to the front. And then you've got your full bed bath down here, which is big. It's a big bed bath. Again, complete wall of glass here on the back wall. 
and another door to get outside to the terrace. And it is a covered patio, so you would have your own terrace covered that you could chill outside. Big closet over there, and this bathroom, I think, turned out really cool, so I'll show it to you. Again, we've got a big window right here for natural light, frosted again for your privacy. And then we did this curbless shower where there's no actual curb on the floor. So you've got the glass and everything that just sits right on top of the tile and it slopes down right into the center, utilizing as much space as possible to give you a nice big vanity. A little bit of a fun tile pattern up here. I think this bathroom is really, really fun. So that's Blanton Project. There's more, but I don't wanna bore you with it. The cloud's pretty cool. It's got LED lights in it. There's all kinds of details everywhere in this house. You really just have to come and see it for yourself. Thanks for taking this tour with me. If you guys have any questions, put it in the comments below about the house, the architecture, how we built it, anything like that construction related, we're happy to help. And then obviously anything sales related, we'll shoot you over to Stacy. See you guys soon on the next one. Thanks.